There we go. Oh, it, it looks like they've made this simpler. Well, good afternoon, everybody, or good morning, or good evening, whichever it is. Today is uh, Sunday, uh, March the 7th, and we certainly melt welcome uh, all of you to this chat. Thank you for everyone who has joined. Thank you, everyone uh, who will listen in after to the recording. And uh, we just wanna bless you. We just wanna honor you and thank you for your participation with Holy Spirit. So um, we thank you for, again, for joining. And we want to say that if you're watching it and you like it, please like it, like the channel and subscribe so that you won't miss any of our new videos. Yes, please do. So this time we want to uh, honor and acknowledge um, the Holy Spirit, Yahweh and Yeshua, hallelujah. We want to honor the Godhead. This is Ecclesia, Havala Ecclesia. The word Ecclesia is church, which really means to gather around the presence of the Godhead and receive from them whatever they have for, for you or for uh, the people around the community and even the nations. We are gates, so if even one person, normally it shouldn't be one person gathering around the Godhead, a group, even if it's two, he says even where two are going, he's there. That is the ecclesia. It's the gathering of the believers around the Godhead to interact with them, engage them, embrace them, and receive what's on their radar, their heart, for you, for the family, for the community, for the nation. So this is what we do every Sunday. If you want to join us, you're most welcome to join us. So we honor the Godhead, we honor the host of angels, we honor um, the men in white linen, the sovereign spirit, wisdom in her handmaidens. We say we are all, you are all most welcome here and we are here today to engage you. Pour unto us. Lock arms, lock, locking arms with you all. So as we gather around them, let's see what the father has for us. And if anybody has a testimony, we open it to testimonies. Any testimony, any new revelation you got during the week, what the Father is putting on your heart, please share. And we take you from there. Thank you, Patience. I would like to share. Um, I can't say it's actually a testimony, but it just had such an impact on me. And... Um, the reason why I want to share is because I'm looking straight at your, um, you know, your little view, view on the um, on the on screen. The yes, on the screen. It's Acts seventeen twenty eight. For in Him we live and move and have our being, and that was so profound because when I was um, listening to it. Um, he was saying that um, I even got the scripture open right here, which um, verse 27, so they should seek God in the hope that they might feel him, feel mm. of him and find him, although he is not far from each of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. And when I was um, listening to what he was saying, he was saying, I am in him. And the word in, in, the, the, the Hebrew word says, with strength and invitation, I became the portal of righteousness that administrates the heart of Yahweh as I am seated upon his heart. Mm. So when I was, oh, this is, and then I see, see your picture and I'm reading it, I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> so 
when we're in him, we're framing and we're speaking and we're singing words that are causing things to be established on the earth. Mm. We're not standing and talking about him or to him. We're not singing what other people are singing or saying. We're right there within him and we're releasing that original word that um, it's like um, from the secret place that's in him. It's not a word that someone else has spoken, but it's, yes. it's a sound that's coming straight from his heart. Mm. Mm. Because we are seated in him. So we are able to take that original sound, that, that original thought in from Father's heart and release that word. And wow. <laughs> and I thought that awesome. was so beautiful. Yes. Yes. So we, yes. Ultimately, we're in his love. And we're speaking that love out to creation. We're speaking mm. the frequency into the cosmos. And because our, yes. hearts, our hearts are aligned with his heart. Wow. So I mm. think that was absolutely we we just we are in in him in that position, you know? So yeah. oh wow. It's, Awesome. Everything, so, must, everything must change. Even the way we sing, our songs must change. Amen. Because we're not, it, it's not a song like um, we're singing right from his heart, right from that chamber, right from inside of him. We're singing it out into the cosmos as him. Mm, mm. Sure. Awesome. Delicia. Jacqueline, uh, your yes. mic is... Yeah, so oh. as I was just sitting and meditating on the Lord, I all of a sudden, I saw myself going down into, into taking some steps down into some waters, deep waters. And um, as I was taking the set, steps down into those waters, I saw like a tuning fork. It mm. was he was taking me to into these waters to recalibrate, to tune, to shift frequency and vibration within me. But it was like, I was, it was like, he was tuning me up. It was a tuning, mm. tuning to mm. righteousness. Wow. A recalibration wow. Mm -hmm. so that I was, shifting i guess maybe shifting the vibe shifting my vibe just shifting me into attuning me um into alignment yes that's it that's it divine alignment yes mm. and, and, and a new sound jackie say it so again delicia and a new sound Hallelujah. You know, with, yes. with that, uh, tuning fork, a new sound coming forth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yes. You know, I, I want to comment to what Delicia said and also what you are saying, uh, um, Catherine. So let me go back to Delicia first. Delicia, when you said that um, in him we live and move and have our being, when you read a scripture out and that um, we are looking for him, though he's not far from us, the word in, in the Hebrew is the bait, is the house of God. And, and uh, the bait is the dwelling, the ascended dwelling place where he, he draws us to come into him. That is the ecclesia in a way. He calls us to gather in his house, in his tent, the tent of meeting, you know. And it also speaks of uh, he in us, we in him. We abide in him. Like it says in John 15, if you abide in me and I abide in you, is the abiding place that he has prepared for us. And from there we live and move and have our being. It talks of community, family. And this is the family of, of God. He invites us to become part of his family the place of unity and communion, you know? 
And from there, he opens your mouth. That's the pay to speak the frequencies from heaven, divine frequencies. And he even said, singing from the beyond onto the cosmos. I like that. I, I believe we will step into that. And then we step into the, uh, uh, what um, um, uh, Jacqueline was saying to Jacqueline, we were talking about the deep waters. This week, yeah. I have engaged the deep waters. Mm. Lisa, remember? This week, we have engaged the deep waters and uh, really is a koshek. Deep call it onto deep. The koshek is the is the, uh, the place of mysteries. And wow. the water, the water is the mem. And 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 you said you are you are um fishing with oh no, you saw a tuning fork. Yes. This week too, I have been fishing in the koshek with a three-prong fork, which is the shame. You know, uh, the koshek is a deep. Is darkness and people mm. think that darkness is bad but we have mm. good darkness and bad darkness the good darkness is the mysteries that father wants us to engage so that he unveils the mysteries to us is the things that are hidden for the uh, for the sons of god to unfold wow and that and that uh, word that he gave the, in 27 he said feel after him and find him Feel, doesn't say go after him and find him. It says feel after mm. him, and that that is it's that position in the koshek, in the secret place, you know, in the exactly. dark street. Yeah. And and feel after him is also experiencing. It is yes. not just coming to hear him, see him, but feel after him is the engagement. Mm, that's it. Face face. Embrace, embrace him. Like it's the intimacy. Like your, your son or daughter, you, you talk to them, you hug them, you feel them. Forget about just saying husband and wife because that goes way into some intimacy. That's, you mm. know, but I'm talking about the intimacy of God. It's a family intimacy. Your brother, your sister. Say that mm. even it gets to a point, whether they are there or not, whether they are close to you or not, when they are going through something, you just feel it. Because you have that bonding with them. Mm -hmm. So it's a call. To, I, I'm seeing that today it's a call to come into the bed, into the dwelling place of God, the ascended dwelling place, not the dwelling place on earth here. Because listen, we step into Him who is seated above the sun and become equal with Him in, the, in, in that place above the sun as the sons of God. And from there, he wants you to just engage him. Like the other time we're talking about Mary sitting at, at his feet like that. Engage him to know him, to fill him, you know? Mm. And, mm. and then, because you are now one with him, he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. Now you flow in words. Your frequency is from the beyond. You singing from the beyond to the cosmos. And to everybody out here. And when he empowers you like this, you are now able to go fish in the koshek, in that darkness, with a three prone fork, which is the shin. The shin is uh, 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 the Hebrew letter that stands for Jesus. He's Yeshua. The shin is in the middle of his name, Yeshua, shin, you know? Mm -hmm. So if we are fishing with, with the shin, which is Jesus himself, what can't you catch? He said, launch into the deep. Deep, mm. call it onto deep. And they had an amazing catch. The tents were, the nets, sorry, the nets were breaking. Hallelujah. Hello, uh, uh, Shingi, how are you? Hi, patients. Hi, everyone. I'm well, thank you. You're welcome today. So the ball is already rolling. <laughs> mm. 
you are ready to step into it. We have two things to step into. I, I think a uh, uh, Delisha will lead us into one and um, Jacqueline will lead us into the other. You all in agreement? Okay, just um, clarify now, what are we, we we're stepping into the Koshik? Uh, uh, yeah, we're doing two steppings. Uh, first, we're stepping into him in the sense of in him we live and move and have our brain. Right. Stepping into the bait, the, the second Hebrew letter, Barashit, remember that in the beginning, Yes. I know, I know, Delicia, you are a Hebrew scholar, so. <laughs> <laughs> not near yet, not near, not near no, yet. No, uh, you see, we call it as it is. <laughs> oh, mighty Yahweh, we just give you so much praise and glory and honor. You're such a good, good father. Yes. We so thankful, Yeshua, for your love and for what you did for us. And Holy Spirit, our very best friend, you just lead us and guide us. We're so thankful that for all the tutors and the governors that we have around us to help train us and bring us into true sonship. We're mm. so grateful. So thankful, Lord. And we're so thankful, Lord, that we can step into you, into all that you are. And it's in you, in you, Father that we live and move and have our very being. Mm. This place in you where we are seated on the edge of divine consciousness, we're sitting in your eye, Lord, in your heart. And from this place, we can declare and decree what is on your heart because we only want to say what we hear our Father saying. We only want to speak what is on your heart, Father. Thank you for this place where we are seated, where we sit on our thrones, Lord, in you. Thank you, Yeshua, that you said to us in John 17, I'm in the Father, and the Father's in me, mm. and you're in me, and we are in the Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. And we honor, we honor the Shin. We honor all the Hebrew living letters. We thank you and all the, the host of heaven. Every single one, we honor you all for coming around us. So grateful, so thankful for this place. Yes, we want to take a minute, just relax and sense your sense your um sense his presence around you. See what is in the atmosphere. You are in the Father. Mm -hmm. Yeshua said, I am in the Father, mm -hmm. and the Father is in me, and you are in me, and you are in the Father. You see that the way it goes round. Mm. So feel yourself. That's the word. Feel, experience yourself in the mm. Father. Mm. What is around you? What do you see? What do you feel? What are you picking up? Engage it. We are in the Father's house. Let's feel Him. I like what you said. This is the age of divine consciousness. So be conscious of where you are, the divinity around you, pick it up.
Who wants to share? What are you experiencing? Just being so conscious of the breath. As I was breathing in, I was breathing in. Yeah, and breathing out way. Yeah, way. Yeah, way. Releasing that sound. Yes. Hmm. Welcome, Ibi. Ibi, I see you are you are writing. You are uh, testing something. Can you speak? Let's hear your voice and pick up your frequency. <laughs> Thank you, sis. I was just confirming that Bait is a Jewish house. With what we're engaging is it? I was just confirming. Cindy says the Amen. Yes, yeah, so. Hello, everybody. Amen. The, the bait is the house. You know, in the beginning, the Bible begins with the whole Bible, the Genesis, in the beginning. And in the Hebrew, the first word in is bait. So it's barashit. In the beginning. And we are dwelling on the word in him. So it's the house of God, the bait. The bait the ascended dwelling place. We are not, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. We are from the beyond. And we operate from the beyond, the house of God above the sun. Awesome. This is why you up there. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Evie. I'm just trying to say that this is very much needed for me in terms of trying to sort of housing as well on the earth. Mm. So engaging the house of God is really what I need right now. <laughs> yes, a reflection, right? Absolutely. Yes. That is why we can boldly say in him, we live and move and have our being and then take time to feel him in the house. Hallelujah. Anybody else wants to share? When I stepped in, uh, in the bed, when Delicia was leading us, I stepped in the bed. And, and the moment I stepped into the bed, I saw I was, I was transfigured. I saw that I was a body of light. And when I started walking into the place, I realized that the place is packed. There were many other people who are transfigured like me there. I guess you were all there because I saw many, many people. I didn't see faces, but I presume that it's you all and more. More other people who are watching, who who are engaging God, you know, the heavenly realms like we are doing. So we are not alone. The house is big. And what came to me was uh, what Jesus said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. So we are in this house of God. And it's, I realize it's not just a house. Though I step into a house, there are dimensions and realms. Very spacious. We are not stepping into a small tent, a small house. No, we are stepping into dimensions, realms. And there are many other people that your brethren, you might not know all of them, but many others are engaging him like this. And in there, we become this huge family. The oneness, the unity. Um, yes, patience. I am uh, definitely arcing uh, with the, with with everything you're saying. And as I'm listening to everybody engage, um, I see us as a particular doorway, which is bait. And as you said, patience in our father's house is many mansions. I believe one of the translations for mansions is doors, doorway. 
And indeed, they are um, dimensions. So, you know, as we step into bait, we're stepping into many doorways and many dimensions in uh, Father. And as we were discussing before the before I turned on the recording about the women in gold and World, World War II and how they shifted the whole outcome of the war, um, I'm seeing us right now as the women of gold as well, who are stepping into that same dimension that they stepped into to shift the outcome of a war, a world war. So just wanted to encourage you all with that, that, that that's what I'm seeing, that we are all in gold and I see us dressed in gold. And um, it's just uh, beautiful. It's just dynamic. Awesome. Wow, thank you, Cindy. That's beautiful. Anybody else wants to share? Oh, I often, sorry, <laughs> I forgot to unmute. I often think about um, how the Hebrew letters just connect with one another. And mm. as you go from from a left bait into into Gimel, it's uh, that from that house um, you speak forth. There comes an unending supply. Mm. Wow, a, a a limitless limitless supply, limitless um, what's the word I'm looking for? Resources. Wow. Yes. It all comes from that house. Mm. Endless supply. Yes. Yes, that is where we are. We are in, in, in the bath, and from there comes the endless supply, the gimel. And the gimel really is uh, represented by the, the camel. The camel who, who is already loaded, you know, the, the thing at mm. his back means that he's loaded with all he needs. In reality, in reality he, he loads water there to keep him going for a long distance without any need for physical water because he has it, the supply in him, you know? Mm, mm. So when we talk about the, the, the Gimo, we are saying that everything we need is in us, in our father's house. Mm, in my father's... Sorry. No, I, I was just going to add that. And in my father's house, there are many mansions. Dimensions, the supply is there, the connection is there. It's like you are connected to the source, the unlimited source of heaven. You never run out, you just draw in, turn in and draw. Like yeah. the tap in your house. If you need water, you just go turn it on. The supply is in your house. You have the connection of the supply in your house. Just turn it and it will pour out into your bowl, your cup, your bucket. So if you don't turn it, you don't get it, but it's there, it's yours. The gimel is here with the supply of heaven. Hallelujah. <laughs> and then it goes into the door, Dalet. So it comes through the door back into the mm. earth. Oh, wow. And it's so beautiful. Oh, I love the Hebrew language. I'm telling you. And, and the door, we are the doors. We are gates. So yes. through us, it will go to everybody out there who needs, just connect and release it. Yeah, and pathways. Ooh, mm. okay. pathways. Oh. Awesome. Do we want to go a uh, uh, fish in the cochet, the deep waters? Uh, Jacqueline, you want to lead us? We touched on it earlier on. Sure. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Yeshua. We praise you. We just praise you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. 
We thank you. Thank you for your goodness. And thank you for your mercy. So Father, we step, we step into the deep waters. We step into the deep waters. We are immersed in your deep waters. Experience, oh, experience the water. Experience the water. Feel the waters. Mm. We are saturated by the deep waters. The waters are alive, They're, it's alive. It's life, it's alive. It's refreshing. I see gold in the water. And Jacqueline, those words come to me, the glory of the Father to conceal a thing and the glory of kings to search mm. something. Mm. Secrets and mysteries. Do you think, um, Jacqueline, that mm -hmm. you saw gold and gold is also a very, very high frequency? Mm. I think of the tuning fork now. Sorry, could you just so could you repeat that? You got you cut off. Sorry. Um, I was thinking of of you seeing the gold. Yes. And. Um, thinking of the frequency that gold mm -hmm. carries. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. So did you say that tuning fork is gold? Well, what I saw was gold being mixed into the water. Oh, okay. And it releases the sound shock. Mm. I often think about um, uh, Nancy Kuhn when she spoke about the sound that the whales make deep down in the water. Mm. And they can hear it for miles and miles and miles. Mm. Mm. So they are releasing frequencies. Mm. Mm. It's 
So, so as we, we are, say, oh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Now, I say we, we are releasing frequencies because the Father's tuning us. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does look, anyone see? see I, mm-hmm. I see that we stepped into the water whilst we we're mm-hmm. talking, Jacqueline. Mm-hmm. We step into the water and we have become the the tuning fork in the water. Yes. And you know, if you put any tuning fork in the water, it, they, they react and then they release frequencies. Mm. And I'm seeing that it's what is coming from this combination of the tuning fork in the water that turns the water into gold. Okay. <laughs> That's mm. right. Love that. Shifting us and bringing us into our divine alignment to release wow. a new sound. Amen. Wow. Amen. The frequency of the Father right into the middle of the earth. Does anyone see a man in white standing, standing to the side watching us and he's holding a book? I don't. Okay. But we can engage him with our imaginations as well. Mm-hmm. We can Divide engage him. and find who, who it is. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't see him, Jacqueline, but um, I'm sensing that your eyes are open to tune in to this person. Mm. And uh, um, let's just ask who he is, like, like yeah. patients. Mm-hmm. So Jacqueline, uh, just welcome him and ask him for all of us. We will hear with you. Yes. Okay. Yes. I I welcome you. And I engage you. Thank you for your presence here with us. And tell us who you are and why you are here. Mm-hmm. We want to know mm. so we can engage you yeah. properly. Okay. And I ask who you are and why you're here. What do you have to say to us? What do you need us to know about your presence here? I saw uh, 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 the man is the man started walking on the water, mm. and then suddenly I heard Yeshua. Mm. I heard door. Mm-hmm. He was walking on the water just as he walked on the water, going to Peter Dems. Mm. And for the book, I had the blueprint. Mm. The blueprint. So uh, I think we should receive the blueprint from him. Yes. 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 We receive the blueprint. Mm. 
the moment you said we received the blueprint, it's like the book left his hand and come straight into my belly. Mm. So we are receiving the land, the download of it straight into mm -hmm. our spirit. Receive it. Receive it. Yeshua, we receive the blueprints from yes. your hand yes. into our spirit. Yes. Oh. It's like light exploded within me. Mm. I'm asking, uh, what's the blueprint for, you know? Wanting to be more specific. So let's all listen and see what we hear and what we pick up. We have already received it. We say yes to it because it's from you, Yeshua. We can't go wrong with that. But we want to know what it is. What is this blueprint for? We want more. Um, everyone, I'm hearing that the blueprint is the pathway um, concerning world events and things to come. Whoa. Hmm. That is heavy. That, that is, is heavy. That is heavy. Um, that's the two things that came to me. Um, he said, I am the doer. And yes. he said, come up here and I will show you great and mighty things that are to come. Mm. Yes. And I, I, see, I see a key, a key unlocking that door. Yes. Yes. Yes, exactly. That's and what I was going to say. Sorry. Wow, Jacqueline. Ooh, thank you, yes. Lord. Thank you. Well, thank as you can say, it's to open doors. It, yes. To open doors. It takes us back to what we saw in the beginning, going into his house, the, the dimensions, the, yes. you know, the doors. That's it. That's it. And now we have the keys to it. Wow. Wow. Welcome to the Father's house and the blueprints for the next decade for the world, world events. Said so that we'll be on top of it. And as sons, we can, you know, he says, he said that he will not do anything on earth without his friend, Abraham. Today, we are the friend of God, Abraham. He wants to share with us what is going to happen in the world. All these great, great world events coming. Some are good, some are bad. So that as sons of God, we can stand with him and then ask him to turn some of them around. Like Abraham said, don't destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. You know? And he, mm -hmm. God listened to him. Yeah. The same way, this is what he's inviting us to do. There are things coming on the earth. In the world, this is the sun's rule to take their position above the sun mm -hmm. and with the father's key in our hands, in his house, we are in his house and with this huge authority, declare that this will not happen, not on our watch. <laughs> and, that, yeah. and that this will happen as sons, we approve it. He made the heaven and the earth for man do everything here is bigger than us. Look at the huge mountain. <laughs> it's bigger than you. But he says, control the mountain. Tell the mountain to move. And it got to move because you are a son. Mm -hmm. It's your inheritance. So, Father, we receive the keys. 
We receive yeah. this blueprint. We receive the, the enforcement of our authority, identity, and position. And we are happy to be your friends on earth. Thank you for the download of the blueprint. Mm. Yes. Yes, I think that is where we said that um, we release that um, that original word from the secret place. We, re we release a custom word that's on our blueprint mm. given us. Exactly. And because we are joined with him, we are one with him, one spirit with him, whatever comes out of our mouth, that frequency we release is not our frequency. It's his frequency that comes yeah. out of our mouth. And he told me last, about two weeks ago that when you join with me and you are one spirit with me, the frequency that comes out of you is mine, is my voice said that the angels who hearken at my voice will start hearken at your voice because like a placebo, they have even confused as to whether it's your voice or my voice. And all they do is to follow it and do it, bring it into manifestation. Wow. Yes. This is who we are. So the angels know the original sound. They know the sound of father. The yes. To the sound of Father. And we carry that sound. Mm -hmm. The angels were there as we engaged the waters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so together, I'm, I'm sensing that together as, as sons of God, taking our position in the house of our father, receiving this blueprint and the mandate to change our face in the universe, in the multiverse, in the nations of the world. Let's release our frequency together. And the angels will take it and go change the frequencies in the waters around the world. Hallelujah. Amen. That the waters will release the original frequency the Father put in them. And will bring the whole world into alignment. First starting with individuals and then communities, nations, and the whole world at large. Oh, Cindy, Cindy, speak up. We need to hear that with your frequency. Hi, yes, I just want to say this is what the uh, ladies of gold uh, did. I, I posted the book in the chat as well. And um, so we're, we're stepping into and arcing in the same frequency and the same uh, dimension that they, they did. That's what I'm, I'm getting. Mm. 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 Yes, I agree. I agree. And, and I'm seeing that we are resetting the waters of the earth to the original frequency the Father made them to be. Said that, you know, water is a, is a, is a, water is a um, essential community everybody depends on. Mm. So if the water is set to the right frequency, and we are all drinking and bathing with the right, with the water with the right frequency. Can you imagine what will happen to us? Our body is 80% water. That means the frequency of the water in our bodies will also be aligned. And not just me and you, everybody who is drinking water are in the whole world. The whole world, all the waters across the ocean, everywhere is fine-tuned to the frequency of the original water frequency. The, the, you see, when God is doing something, it starts like something small, but it can be huge in manifestation. 
because we are the the the, um, the tuning forks right in the water, not just the water or the lake or the river next to your house, everywhere. There's no distance in the spirit realm. Our tuning fork is in every water. Yes, and all the waters that have been so polluted. That's yes. it. To change it, to align it, so that those who drink it, swim in it, bathe in it, do whatever you do with the water, it's affecting you for good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Father. We release that frequency together. Thank you. Shingi, you've been quiet today. Hi, patients. Um, I don't have much to say. I'm listening. Okay. Um, I'm listening. Sorry, I don't have much to say. I posted something which I feel is not really connected, but also uh, a little bit like something that maybe can help me. Um, during the course of the five weeks, I posted something about our next thing. Okay. Shingi posted, our next team is water as a finite, res finite resource for the next five weeks or so. But uh, um, you see that we have been talking about water for a long time now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Talking about the meme, uh, uh, the pregnancy, the, um, the baby in the water for uh, nine months in the womb, the, the, the um, in the womb with the water around her, you know, or him, you know, we have been talking with water about water for a while now, uh, about, I think about a month now. There's something he's telling us about water, mem, mem, mem. Maybe we have to make a summary of, of all that we, he's taught us about water this recent weeks so that we see the picture and where it's going, you know? We see the big picture and where it's going. Do you all feel complete? Hmm, yes. Okay, if you all are, Cindy, want to stop the recording for us? Okay, thank you all.